Here is Bill Engvall. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you for staying up this late. It makes my job a heck of a lot easier. The, uh, my name is Bill Engvall. I'm originally from Texas, uh, born and raised down there. We got some Texas people here? Yeah. yeah. I like being from Texas just because we got our own language down there. We just make stuff up. If you've been down there, you've heard us say things like, I'll tell you what. That's it. That's a complete sentence in Texas. It's like, I'll tell you what. And everybody from out of state's like, what? <laughs> well, I just told you. And Texans look at things completely different. Anybody else in this country? Last time I was home, I was driving around at a flat tire. I pulled the car in one of those little side of the road gas stations. The attendant walks out, looks at my car, looks at me. I swear to you, he said, tire go flat? I couldn't resist. I said, no. No, I was driving around. Those other three just swelled right up on me. <laughs> and without missing a beat, he goes, well, the heat will do that. <laughs> See, that's my pet peeve in life, ladies and gentlemen. I hate stupid people. They should have to wear signs that just say, I'm stupid. That way you wouldn't rely on them, would you? You wouldn't ask them anything. They'd be like, excuse me. Oh, never mind. <laughs> I didn't see your sign. <laughs> That's why there's warnings on products, because of stupid people. It's not for people like us, it's for stupid people. That's why, you know, if, you had, if they had to wear those stupid signs, you wouldn't sell them the product. It'd be like, I'm sorry, I can't sell that to you. Like, why? <laughs> Ow, I forgot. <laughs> do you know on a tube of Preparation H, it says, do not take this orally? That's sad, isn't it? Because you know somebody wrote him a letter. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> Dear Preparation H, I ate this whole dang tube. I still got these hemorrhoids. Man, my mouth's so small. I can't eat a jelly bean anymore. But I could whistle really good. <laughs> we bought my daughter a bathtub doll. It's called Rubber Dub Dolly. Because she floats around the bathtub with a little life preserver on. And on the life preserver, it says, this is not a life-saving device. <laughs> well, what kind of idiot would see some guy drown in a river and go, here, here's a wrap it up dolly doll. <laughs> oh, thank you, you saved my life. <laughs> we just bought her a pogo stick. Now, a pogo stick's one of the most basic things on this planet. I'm putting this thing together. There's a warning on the pogo stick. It says, do not use this in traffic. Was there a guy late for work one day? <laughs> Car battery days, like, man, I gotta be working five minutes. <laughs> oh, what the hell? <laughs> you see this guy showing up at work? He's all sweaty. Bob, how'd you get to work? I pogo, man. <laughs> I pogo 15 miles. <laughs> and I got a ticket. <laughs> <laughs> Next time you get your clothes back from the dry cleaners, read on the dry clean bag. I, said, I swear it says, this is not a toy. Well, you know, I just can't count the number of kids I've seen sitting on Santa's lap. <laughs> now, Santa, I don't believe I want a bike or a train. Just a big old clear cleaning bag, that'd do me. <laughs> we just bought a stereo receiver. If you've bought a piece of stereo equipment, you know inside the box, always put that little package of drying agent? And on this in big bold letters, what does it say? Do not eat this. Y'all ever bought a piece of stereo equipment thinking there might be something to eat in there? <laughs> but you know somebody opened that box and went, well, look! I got a receiver and a pack of chiclets. I got music and go. <laughs> uh, there, there's warnings on, you know on a can of shaving cream? It says avoid spraying this into an open flame. Where was that guy shaving at? <laughs> what, he's sitting around the campfire one night going, well, I feel a little bristly. <laughs> Woo! Smooth. <laughs> I'm sure some of you ladies here tonight use curling irons. You ever get a chance to read the warnings on these things? I swear to you, it says the first time you use this curling iron, you may notice a slight odor and some smoke. <laughs> that means your hair's on fire. <laughs> There's warnings on blow dryers, you know this? says, do not use while sleeping. Well, Lord, hadn't that become a problem? 
Because I don't know about the rest of you, but I cannot count the number of times. I've been sound asleep. Woke up, I was doing my hair. It's like, oh man, I was sleep styling again. On the Delta show, I played an auto mechanic, and for one of the shows, they built us a garage set, and one of the guys on the crew knew that I did this stupid sign routine. And he said, you gotta read this. And he took a car fan belt off the wall, and on the back of a car fan belt, I swear to you, it says, be sure you stop the motor <laughs> before trying to apply this. <laughs> Wouldn't you have loved to have been there the first time that happened? The guy walks in, all his hands are all cut up. He's like, Earl, what happened? Ugh. Uh. <laughs> I'm gonna give you boys a little tip here. <laughs> You're gonna put a fan butt on the car, you better shut that motor off. You can't stop it with your hands, man. It's like a machine, it just keeps turning and turning. <laughs> you guys have been a great awesome. I'll leave you with this last. I saw an idiot on TV this week. I was watching one of those animal shows. It was on sharks. And there was a guy inventing a shark bite suit. Now there's only one way to test that. You gotta get bit by sharks. But the guy that was inventing the suit wasn't doing the test and he had his buddy helping him out. And I'd have loved to have been on that little chit chat. <laughs> it's like, Billy, come here. All right, Billy, got that suit on, looks good. Now, what we gonna do, we gonna strap dead fish all over your body. <laughs> Stay with me, Billy. Stay with me. And then we want you to jump in this pool of sharks, and you tell us if it hurts when they bite you. <laughs> well, all right. Hold my sign. I don't want to lose it. <laughs> you guys, thank you very much. Keep that money coming in. Good night. <laughs>